Monday. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Donovan McNabb in the house, Stephen A. Smith, Max Kellerman. I'm Molly Karam, and besides, guys, getting into a lot don't, of don't uh, shake my hand. He said a, a lot of intense topics. I know we're doing some serious gym, That's right. some gym time here. We're all going to be putting in a little bit later Absolutely. today. Absolutely, we, we've all been eating I just pretty was, well. I'm just trying to look out for my man Max. I just wanted to say on this uh -huh. Sunday, this Monday morning. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Mine was a little bit rough. Too many damn kids around, but that's a different <laughs> subject I for thought, another day. Time but, out. Uh, time uh, out. Look, I, I thought had, Stevie A loves the I, kids. He sure does. He oh. sure does. But damn it, it was too many of them. But but Max, I just want to let the world know he's a little bit sick today. So the mm -hmm. regular beat down, I'm going to step back. Oh, oh okay. be a little knock. You're going to shake your hand. Yeah, all right. I'm, good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I, I got right? to see Lomachenko <laughs> put it on Walters. Oh, my God, don't give me Lomachenko, that's a bad boy. Walters quit. Walters quit. I don't even want to talk about him. All right, let's get into some football. Yep. We start with Sunday Night Football, where the Kansas City Chiefs blew a fourth quarter lead only to come back and win the game in Denver in overtime at a 34-yard field goal after the Broncos mixed a 62-yard kick. Kansas City now moves to 8 and 3, good for second in the division. The loss puts the Broncos two games behind the Raiders in the AFC West and out of the playoff picture. Max, yep. will the Broncos make the playoffs? I cannot believe I'm sitting here and saying this at this point in the season because I thought they were one of the two best teams in the AFC to start the season. No, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. And it just comes down to their schedule. You got the Jags on the road. You got the Titans on the road. Then you have the Patriots, Chiefs on the road, and the Raiders. That is murderer's row of a schedule. And it's not so much that they're not as good as the other teams, even in their division, the Chiefs or the Raiders. But that schedule is brutal, and they have ground to make up in order to get it. I just don't see it. I think they make the playoffs. And we've talked about how great this conference is. Uh, I should say has been, but it's about quarterback play. I mean, when you look at Derek Carr and the emergence of this year alone uh, and being an MVP candidate leading this team with a lack of defense from at least half of the season, now they're starting to turn things around. Then you go over to Kansas City. Uh, Andy Reid has done a great job with Alex Smith of just having him manage it intermediately. What I say mean by that is just throwing passes under 12 to 15 yards and just moving the ball methodically. Their defense is outstanding, and I think they will only continue to get better. Now, as far as the Denver Broncos is concerned, I think they beat the Oakland Raiders uh, in that last game of the season. I think they beat the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead. We already know they're going to beat Jacksonville. So right there, that's 10 wins. And I believe they steal another one as they go along. So If you just give them road wins against the Chiefs and they're going to beat the Raiders, just give it to them, sure. The, the thing about the Kansas City Chiefs that has pulled, uh, pulled me away from them a little bit is the lack of run game. With Jamal Charles being out, I'm looking for where to carry the load a little bit more, and he just hasn't done it as well as I thought he would. We're going to get into Kansas City a little bit later in the next segment. Let me just answer your question directly and look at this man right here, the blasphemy coming out of your mouth. Ah! will not disrespect the reigning defending Super Bowl champions in such a fashion. I will show Akeem to leave more respect with that. I will show Chris Harris more respect than that. You know, this game, Roby and the crew, I will show them more respect than that. They are the reigning defending Super Bowl champions with an elite defense that has been suspect against the run. We understand that. But I remind you that that New England Patriots game coming up, that Oakland Raiders game coming up, both of those games are in Denver. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you talk about Kansas City against Denver, no matter where it's at, it's a pick em, okay? So we got to look at it from that perspective, and we know they're going to beat Jacksonville. So we're talking about 10 wins. And I think, Max... I don't know if you realize the magnitude of your words and how disrespectful they are, and I'm going to help you out here. When we look at the AFC South, we all know the winner is, you know, the winner's going to come out of that. And, 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 there's, no, there's, there's not going to be a wild card no. out of that division. That's right. all I'm trying to say, right. right? We know that. Scratch that. Say it could be said right now for the AFC North yes. because you got Baltimore and Pittsburgh at 6-5. Mm -hmm. Cincinnati's done. Cleveland, Lord have mercy. So we won't even get to that, okay? Then we go to the AFC East. Well, it's New England. But then after that, even M though Miami's Miami, a, listen, yeah. Miami seven and four. What I'm saying Miami to you, how to lose. listen, listen, what I'm saying. We're talking about the AFC West possibly having three teams in the playoffs. Yep. So I'm looking at it from the perspective that if you're going to tell me that the Denver Broncos are going to miss out, you're saying either somebody from the South, the North, 
What are Miami Dolphins with Ryan Tannehill are he going to the playoffs? He was throwing the ball well yesterday. I don't know. Well, stop it, Molly. They weren't just yes, running it. He was throwing it. Well. And that defense yeah, was coming By on. The way. Stop the hate. Sue and Wake. I, I, I sprinkle water on her. Stop the hater raid. Stop it right she's now. She's not wrong. I don't. She's, she's going to be wrong. Tannehill. I, I, ultimately. I'm a, I'm, ultimately. My, I'm a staunch anti-Tannehill guy through these last couple years. But I got to admit what I see. He's playing pretty well. How about the November he's at over 100 QB rating? I do understand that. My man. Gase is doing a Gase is doing an exceptional job with right. them. And the guy we know could run the football, etc. You know, it came down to the wire where you had to stop Colin Kaepernick. You know, you know the modern-day Malcolm His X wannabe. He was balling. That was the best game of the He was I know you're a little upset because he didn't go vote. Give him some credit now. Give him some credit. Give him some credit. I'm allergic to that right now. I'm just allergic to that right now. D, I can't help it. We're more upset about his Fidel Castro comments, which we'll get a little later. Yeah, I know you are. But I mean, we're talking about football. We're talking football. Yeah. football. In football, listen, he, he was a high. You know, he stepped up. He made some plays, but ultimately, again, couldn't get it done. All I'm saying is, these are the San Francisco 49ers that walked into this game having lost nine straight, and you're the Miami Dolphins, and you're struggling. And I'm supposed to give you the edge over three teams in the AFC West? I'm not doing it. So that's why I say Denver will probably make the playoffs because the team they got to watch out for most is Miami, and I don't see it. I just don't. Got a brutal schedule. I, you yeah. guys are just kind of giving them that. Was a a champion. For a win. Like, you think the Raiders are real or not? I do. Well, the Raiders are real, but I, I think more of the question shouldn't be about is Denver going to make the playoffs? Will Kansas City make the playoffs? Mm -hmm. They have a tough road finishing up toward the end of their schedule as well. So uh, you just talked about it, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Tennessee Titans. I think those are two wins the Denver Broncos will get. I don't know about the Titans. I don't know about the Titans on the, the road. The thing about Tennessee is... is is we don't never we never talk about their defense, and I think when you look at what the Denver Broncos have been able to do, wh when you look at the receivers that they have, I don't think that the Tennessee Titans can stop them you know as far as like? passing the ball. They couldn't stop Chicago and Matt Barkley last you know, yesterday. You, you know what I don't like about your analysis sometimes, man. You give very astute analysis. See, Donovan and I go back a long way. This is how he's, this, he always been this way. He always been this way. See, the quarterbacks get interviewed on Wednesdays, and then after that, <laughs> you don't talk to them until Sunday. So Donovan will sit there and dissect stuff, sounds very astute and all of that stuff, and if you catch a crack in his argument, you can't find him. That's what you do on this show. You come here Monday, all right? <laughs> you wrong by Wednesday or Thursday. We got to go through Friday, and then we forget by Monday what the hell you said. Yeah, could you tweet at us at least? I mean, you, know, you, know, you got to be found, Donovan McNabb, because look, let me tell you something. When I look at Kansas City, let's look at the schedule. Atlanta's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. Oakland, Tennessee, Denver, San Diego. Tough schedule, no doubt. Yeah. But Kansas City, coached by the great Andy Reid. Absolutely. Give it up. Okay, your coach. All Absolutely. right. You give him love. I, Talk I, about, I, I can give Colin Kaepernick love. But you, I don't have I to give him Reed. some love. Give him the love. They just barely be San no, Diego. Saying, no, I don't think Donovan, Donovan. And show him the love. And the problem with Andy Reid is going to show up later in the playoffs, not during the regular see, season. See, why you got to go there? See, you know what I mean? There we go. All, all I'm saying fans. is. Go I mean, let's stay in the NFC West. Let's go to the Raiders. It was a wild one in the black hole where we saw last year's MVP in Cam Newton take on this year's potential MVP in Derek Carr. After the Raiders gave up 25 straight points, with a crooked pinky finger, Gamer orchestrated his ninth game-winning drive yesterday. That's the second most in the NFL in the fourth quarter or overtime in the last two seasons, defeating Carolina 35-32. to Khalil Mack ended the game with a strip sack and now has a sack in six straight games, the longest active streak in the NFL. Stephen A., are the Raiders the best team in the AFC West? You know what? As much as I've raved about them, and I still do because their offense is elite, I don't want to say they're the best team in the AFC West. I'm right. going to have to give that love to the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. Here's why. Bevy of injuries, particularly with the absence of Jamal Charles, they just find a way to get it done. There's something about them that reminds me of when you guys, the year y'all Philadelphia Eagles went to the Super Bowl in this respect. Somehow, some way, when adversity hits, they don't panic. They find a way to usually get it done. I know they lost the week before to Tampa, and I get all that. Alex Smith, QBR of 50, hasn't been himself. I get all of that. He got concussed against Indianapolis a few weeks ago. Right. Hasn't seemed the same, even though he denies that there's any changes in him. He just said that the defenses have been tough. I don't buy that. But I look at Kansas City right now, Macklin being out for a third consecutive game, Jamal Charles being out, Alex Smith not having been himself. And somehow, some way, 
with Eric Berry and Tom Ali and Houston and the crew. These guys are finding a way to make things happen. And this kid Hall, oh, oh my Lord have mercy. These boys showed up yesterday. I'm just looking at Kansas City right now. Uh, a team that smacked around the Raiders when they played them earlier this year. Right. And I'm saying Arrowhead Stadium, you know how tough it is to play there. You know, and I'm looking at where they are right now in terms of both sides of the football and special teams. I can't definitively give it to anybody in the West over them right now because of how they've looked. So disrespectful. Yeah, you, you just raved about the Denver Broncos making the playoffs yes. over all these other teams. I didn't say, I didn't say anything about them winning all the division. All these other teams, you were totally disrespectful I, I to Tannehill and his 120 and, 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 and excuse me, Donovan, excuse me, Donovan, you were disrespectful to this man. Yeah. So dis disrespectful. Talking about Andy, hey, comparing hey. Alex Smith, who's a fine quarterback, to Donovan McNabb. I wasn't McNabb. comparing him. I was well, talking about Philly, I mean, Philly, Philly, I mean, Kansas you City. You said, yeah, Philly, Kansas City. I was not. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But the difference is Look at that Donovan McNabb. I'm happy, oh, by the way, I'm happy to say this on TV about you because I haven't had a chance yet. Donovan McNabb was basically John Elway minus the last two years of his career. And that is not Alex Smith. They lived in the NFC Championship I am Championship not comparing game. Alex Smith to Donovan McNabb. I'm comparing the Philadelphia Eagles of the year that they went there to what I'm seeing from Kansas City right now in terms of facing adversity and making things happen. How do y'all isolate Alex Smith and Donovan McNabb? It's a setup, you politician. Well, so, well, Set up. So you you felt it, didn't you? <laughs> when he, Donovan, when he said it, you yeah, felt yeah. that, right? Sorry, First thing was, you called me Alex Smith. Smith. So that's what we do now. Felix, it felt that way. It felt that way. You say you've you been a booster of the Raiders, and now you're doing an about face. I'm let not. me say, Let me say Raiders Nation, and they have a nation. Like, you talk about national following. Right. The, yeah. maybe, maybe we haven't paid enough attention to them just based on their fan base this mm -hmm. year. It's the Cowboys and Steelers, of course, and the Raiders. They have a huge Raiders national about their following. offense, not them. I'm just talking about how interesting interested people yeah, are in sure, them, even course. out of market. Their offense is tremendous. They have a great offensive line. It's, it's, yes. it's comparable to the Cowboys' offensive line. It's elite. They have, I'm going to talk about the quarterback in a second, a couple of excellent receivers. True. I mean, Crabtree has, like, fulfilled his potential no question. there. And their defense is coming around. It's gotten much better mm. as the seasons come along. Hey, you're going to uh, say this off of them giving well, them 25 well, because, straight? Because yeah. when you go from the worst in the league to something better than that, you, all you need in, o in Oakland is a bend but don't break defense. I don't think they're going to win the Super Bowl this year, as some people do. But let me just say where I've been wrong about them. I've considered them, because of the lack of defense, a kind of typical NFL team that doesn't have enough to be truly good, but they have an excellent quarterback. I have underestimated just how special Derek Carr is. When you have a special quarterback like that, and you are a, a, an average to above average so team. Otherwise, moved, you, you can win, so, and so, that's so, what they've so, been so doing. After all the touchdowns and everything that he was doing, the fact that he came back from the hurt pinky is what moved you. Who are you, Austin Powers? Now the smile who shagged me. You know, yeah, it's baby, just, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie and talk I mean, about my quarterbacks on. right Go now. My, he, listen, first of all, when you think of this, the three teams in a division, you talk about the two with great defenses, Kansas City, and you talk about the Denver Broncos. Not just the front seven, but the secondary. The secondary in Kansas City, I think, is a little bit uh, overlooked. When you have Eric Berry, you have Peters, they have guys who can create turnovers on a defensive end. You look at the Denver Broncos. Gains, too. It, the same thing in the Denver Broncos secondary. Aqib Tlaib, you, you talk about all these guys that can make plays happen. T.J. Ward can come in a box. He can play, play from a, a distance. But when you look at the, the Oakland Raiders, that's part of their weakness is their secondary. Yeah, offensively, you might go into the playoffs and win one game, but your defense has to carry the load through. And I don't think that they're able to do that. We can talk so much about Khalil Mack. I think he's one of the best defensive players in the league, if he's not defensive no player of the no year. Question. But what, where else is gonna be anybody going to create something from that opposite You're side? You're talking about winning or, a Super Bowl. I agree. No, I'm, I'm talking, talking about winning in the away. playoffs. Winning in the How, playoffs. Are they the best not, team in the AFC West? Is he... I still think the Denver Broncos When is. push comes to shove, though, Donovan, I hear what you're saying. Like, the Chiefs should be or the Broncos should be. What I'm saying is I agreed with that up until yesterday, where finally it's like, you know what? They gave up 45 it, straight. But right, they're, they're, it's a terrible day to do that. But 
their quarterback shows How he came every back. time that with the chips on the line, he's the well, best okay. player on the team. We're talking about their defense. Perfect example. We're talking about their defense. We can say the same thing about the New England Patriots. When, when Tom Brady was out, somebody else stepped in. But their defense still is a question. We can talk New England Patriots all the time. But when your quarterback is in there, yeah, you have the confidence that you can win the game. But if you're giving up 25 straight points versus the Carolina Panthers, no. who their season is over with, right? and what do you think is going to happen in the playoffs when you play against some of these tough teams in the AFC? That's the only thing that I'm worried about. I love Derek Carr. I love Murray. I love Crabtree. I love what I'm seeing with Amari Cooper. But they don't play defense. And if you can't stop anybody on defense and they're constantly gashing you with the intermediate passing game and the run game. They're not going to win the Super Bowl. standing on the they, sideline. They're, they're not going to win the we Super Bowl, but they're the best point. team in the division. But Being the, the best team in the division is You can't say that if you only talk about yeah. one side of the ball. Right. Yeah, actually. You're thinking that Carr could cover the sins. He's enough of a game. I've been on the other side of this yes, argument all year. I but at a certain saw, point, yeah. like what they say. the Giants defense and the lack of offense? They say in nature, twice is coincidence, three times is pattern. Derek Carr has been doing this all year. like ten times already. Pause for a second here. Let's rewind that for a second here. You know why I got a problem with your position? Because what Derek Carr, them did yesterday, they've essentially been doing all season. Yep. Their offense has been, so in other words, Max, then well, I can understand if the defense showed up and looked lights out yesterday. Right. No, they just did what they've been doing all year, and Max didn't want to accept it. Now, well, the epiphany is hit, the epiphany has hit you yep. in terms and of the offense? You, I'll tell you why. The way, that offense game, is elite. the way that game was going when they started bleeding, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It just <clears> felt like they were going to lose the game. Like, oh, here it comes. Because some people did pick Carolina going into this game. It was a topic a on our show. I thought, I, I it thought had it was the a, feeling of a game they a could lose. It was a and when it, for them. and yeah. when it started happening, you thought, here it comes. The magic runs out. And what Derek Carr showed is the magic doesn't run out because it's not a it's not like it's not like a parlor trick. I, this I, is I, what I, he I, has. I, Khalil work. Mack my, called my, it the mom by an M. He says the be in him comes your analysis, out. Yes. Your analysis ain't wrong. All I'm saying to right. you is that he's been doing it. Yep. And you didn't want to accept well, it. Well, I may he's be I may, I may be slow, but I'm not stupid. Yeah, look at the whole picture. We'll accept accept that. Yeah. All right. Way to go. We want you guys to wait at home. Are the Raiders the best team in the AFC? Vote on the first take Twitter page. We'll show those results a little later in the show.